our Lord and Savior gives love. Our God has love to give, my friends. Those who are young and old in Jesus Christ, those who are going to be saved because you believe and have turned from sin. The Lord has love to give, much love. And it is written in John 14, 27, that he will give us peace. And this is a kind of peace that surpasses all the kind of peace that the world could ever give you. He says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Don't be afraid of what's in this world. Just let God reach out his arms to you and receive God's love because he loves us. It is written in 1 John 4, 8. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. It is also written in Psalms 36, 7. How precious is your unfailing love, O God. All humanity finds shelter in the shadow of your wings. God has loving, outstretched arms, my friends. And he says, even through the prophet of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 18, so the Lord must wait for you to come to him so he can show you his love and compassion. For the Lord is a faithful God. Blessed are those who wait for his help. I encourage you to wait for God's love in your life. Don't give up. Don't lose faith. Don't doubt God. Because he is so mighty and so wonderful. He will reach out his arms to you and carry you. It is also written in the scriptures in the scriptures of Hosea chapter 2 verse 23 At that time I will plant a crop of Israelites and raise them for myself I will show love to those I called quote not loved unquote and to those I called not my people I will say now you are my people, and they will reply, you are our God. And Jesus will do this. God the Father and Jesus Christ will do this. It is written, lastly, to close, I have two more scriptures in Deuteronomy 33, 27, and Matthew 23, 37. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms Moses is speaking here in Deuteronomy. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee and shall say, destroy them. Moses experienced the outstretched, everlasting, loving arms of our Father. And you can too, my friends. Lastly, Matthew twenty three thirty seven, Jesus Christ speaks to Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem you who killed the prophets and stone those sent to you how often i have longed to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings and you were not willing my friends it's very important that we become willing willing to follow the lord trust him let him be the way the truth and life for us let him be the light of the world so that you're not in darkness anymore if you trust the lord he will reach out his outstretched arms and he will gather you he will destroy evil around your life so that you can walk in the light he will remove and destroy all the wickedness but you have to be willing to trust him my friends